In a crash, we're fighting physics. Uh, physics are what they are. There's nothing we can do about it. In a, uh, in a mishap, a, an aircraft is going to have an impact velocity. Based on that impact velocity, there's going to be certain loads imparted to the occupant as a result of that. So what we have to do is we have to make the crash as survivable as we can. One of the ways we do that is through the energy attenuation process. All of our Hilo aircraft in the fleet right now have energy attenuating seats on them. And uh, what they do is they basically just deform metal in a very predictable, a very uniform way to basically just bend and absorb the energy of the impact. Basically taking the non-survivable crashes and making them survivable by absorbing the energy, taking it away from the occupant and absorbing it in the seat. So what we're testing is a real seat. It's a reusable energy attenuating lab seat. What this system's gonna do is basically ensure that any gear that the warfighter wears, whether it be their heads bottle or a helmet mounted system, night vision goggles, uh, if they're using that equipment during a mishap, it's not gonna increase the risk of injury or fatalities to anybody in the, in the cockpit. This covers all H60 types. It covers the 53s, it covers the H1s. This seat is there to simulate the crash-worthy seats in all of those airframes. Because historically the tests are cost prohibitive to do, we've dialed it back to try to simulate the fact that it wasn't using an energy attenuating seat. So in an attempt to get as accurate of data as we can, we had the idea of coming up with a reusable energy attenuating seat. So we set everything up, we instrument the dummy with all the channels that we need, and then we place the dummy in the seat. You know, we slide our sled up to the ram, and that's where the high G is, is the ram that applies an enormous amount of force into the sled to achieve the desired accelerations and the velocities that we're looking for. Three, two, one, fire. Our test matrix for this seat, when we're done, we're gonna test it 32 times. We're reusing everything. If we were to use a seat out of, say, an H60 Sierra, that seat costs $150,000. This seat eliminates that cost completely. So we're saving 32 times $150,000 by reusing this seat. This project increased the accuracy of the data that we're collecting. It's decreasing the cost of testing to the end user and it's increasing the knowledge base and the experience of the young engineers. This is a one of a kind. You know, we've designed it in-house from the ground up and uh, we've gone through the process to develop what we have here today.